strong vibration, a strong energy. We talked about it a little bit earlier. You began to ask me something about this Kundalini energy. Yes. And I said, well, maybe I can talk about it later. Yes. So what do you want to ask me about it? Um, last year, last year um, I had a spontaneous, wonderful, amazing experience. I didn't know what it was at that time. Later I found out that it's called Kundalini Awakening. It was the most divine, amazing thing I have ever felt. Nothing can, no words can explain that feeling. Since then, things have changed. I was wondering after after that after that day if it's possible to to feel that sensations again just by inviting inviting it and it it, it was. Now I know that uh, I just feel things differently. It's not just theory. It's uh, I just feel the energy around me and uh, not just energy around me. I am that energy. I have no doubts about that because I have experienced it. If I haven't experienced it, probably there will be times that I would doubt, definitely, because we need some kind of confirmation, I guess. Uh, when you say energy, what you what you mean by that? That you are that energy? Because all life is energy. Mm, yes. All life is energy. I just... <clears throat> At one level of expression, you can say it's all energetic, all this existence. At that moment, what would I just be so felt... different or special about Kundalini energy? You just feel completely different. You 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 feel your body in a different way. You yeah. you, you actually feel beyond your body. Uh, it just it just there are wonderful sensations. I remember there were a lot of involuntary movements. It was very scary, kind of scary at the moment, but I wasn't afraid because just with any other thing that you know is good for you, you're not you're not afraid. Even though at some, sometimes when this energy is climbing up and reaching your throat and your mouth, and you you feel like you're not you're not breathing for some time, but you're not you're not afraid. And now, how, how is it? Now? It has its ups and downs, but I know that it will be like that in this lifetime. Every day will be a, a challenge. So it is an experience. Yes. Comes, like all experience, they have beginning, of end, of change. Yes. But it's not what you are. There's a physicality about it, and <clears throat> it's also sensational, it's a sensation, it comes, there's awareness of it also, of its presence, of its weakening, of its strengthening, of its coming and going, so it is also a phenomenon that comes and goes. That's <clears throat> fine. Uh, yes, nowhere in any form of yoga. Um, would that be admitted as uh, the supreme state? It is only um, another sensation, strong, pleasant at times, uh, as you use the word, involuntary, uh, in its expression very often. Um, so it's another effect in consciousness. Here we are concerned about the truth. But what really is, in which energies flow, they come and go, 
but it cannot be described merely in energetic terminology. That's just energy, it's coming and going, it's strong, it's light, it's like this, no. These are effects in consciousness. Mm. And um, so, either you want to stay with that and, and that becomes your thing that you enjoy, uh, this energy and people say you can do this with the energy or that or you want to proceed further into uh, your own nature your true nature and discover what is uh, timeless in yourself immutable meaning is that not affected by energy or by the movement of the body mind that which is called uh, the pure self that is what the, the topic is here that's the we, we may call it a kind of goal, but I don't want to use these words so much. But uh, the point of the investigation is to be in the direct experience of that. And by direct experience, I don't mean the experience which is the going and coming, but the experience which simply is one's nature. If you want to, maybe the word is not experience. I don't know, maybe the word is not experience. I, I, I feel that... And that is something that I have not tried to try to achieve. It just happened. It's 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 natural, and I feel that. I have, um, we were in India. I think it was a, few, a couple of years ago, and some a couple a young couple was staying in an apartment very near to where we are staying, and then this uh, the girl she had been doing this. Uh, um, some energy work for quite some time. She was fascinated with that. But um, in the middle of the night, the boyfriend came to the house, was very, uh, very shaken up and asking for help because her body was just flicking on the bed, flicking, and she was terrified. She didn't really know what to do. She was completely terrified. Uh, she felt possessed almost. And uh, uh, it was not fun. It was not fun. She was totally terrified. And to calm those energies down, and then somehow uh, she was exhausted. I would not uh, encourage anyone to play around with energy work and, you know, even shanti path and all of this uh, uh, thing if it is shown only for experience. Really, the real search should be really for the truth and not for any kind of um, uh, experience. These may come but also unasked for. They can come also, naturally. Uh, should we just not relax and whatever comes, comes? Should we not relax and whatever comes, comes? Sure, nothing wrong with that. Just, just stay present. This is something that came to me. Yes. You can carry on. You say stay present. people here I I didn't even know about you before I registered <laughs> it, it was a strange thing I just knew I I have a very strong intuition and I just knew that I had to go somewhere 
and something coming up, but no, 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 that, that wasn't it. And then basically I just heard a day before something like that, before the registration, and I, I just knew I had to register, and then later I, I watched a few YouTube clips, so, and I didn't regret it.
doubting these words. I am not even asking anybody to believe them. But you ask, I tell you like that. My encouragement is only for those and not for everybody. I don't feel to go around encouraging people to search for themselves. It's not my place. But some come by themselves. I don't know how, but they come and uh, they have an urge and somehow this contact happens and we explore together. And the fruit of that looking 